question right here. Mm -hmm. So that was not taught in physics. Okay, anybody knows what is exactly as a limit? Some go with other limits, some look you calculate current. So, indeterminate forms and unki actually value exist. Karti hai, to hum log uske liye limits nikal rahe hai. So, differentiation ka kya use hai? Why do we use what does derivative helps us in? No idea. Okay. So, to find to very yeah. small differences or something like that? Exactly. To calculate the instantaneous change. So, instant, instantaneous change calculate connectively, we use derivatives. So, you might have studied that dv by dt is equal to acceleration. Correct? What is this dv by dt? Small. Small change in time. Small, nahin, very small change in velocity divided by very small change in time. Okay. So we have studied the formula that speed is equal to distance by time. Right. And we have one formula aur padha tha, again physics mein, that v is equal to dx by dt. So ye dono formula is the same. Hai, kya? No. No, sir. What is the difference? So, what is the speed and velocity? Ka hai. Speed and velocity, so, okay, hai. direction is not magnitude. Pe aata hai. D by x is not. The first one hai. will give you like of like a large distance, it's not instantaneous. Okay. So, basically, when function, like when x is a function of time, then we use this formula, right? So, if x is 2t square plus t, something like that, then we use this formula to calculate the velocity at any point at any time. Okay? This type of formula is for a distance like a constant distance, say 500 kilometers, 600 kilometers, then we use speed is equal to distance by time. Okay? So, differentiation actually, let's say you have a curve. You have a curve. And any point where Let's say this is fx. And if you want to calculate the derivative of fx at some point. So basically, derivative gives you is point pe tangent ka slope. Is point pe, let's say at x equal to a, this tangent is at x equal to a, we are calculating the derivative. So derivative kya dega? So derivative ki value hogi, that will give us the slope of this tangent at this particular point. Correct. So, ab derivative calculate kaise karta? Derivative ka ek formula hota hai. Limit x tending to 0. F of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. This is how you calculate the derivative of any function at it's not x tending to 0, it's h tending to 0. So, this is known as the first principle of differentiation. So, sir, ये तो सीधा formula हो गया और आपने बताया slope होता है तो कैसे इसको slope से relate कर रहे हैं? एक बार वो चीज भी समझते हैं. Let's say again, I'll take a curve. So, can you go back one second? Okay. Done, sir. Answer. Okay. So let's say we have a curve. Acha, do you guys know what is a tangent and what is a secant? Tangent and? Secant. Tangent, like when there's a circle, like a 
tangent is uh, perpendicular to one of its radius that's drawn from the center, and a secant like crosses the circle at two distinct points. Okay, what if it's not a circle? For any curve, how can you define a tangent? We have studied parabola, ellipse, now hyperbola. So, how is tangent defined over here? Would it be like a line drawn from the foci to the circumference and like the tangent is a line that touches it once and is perpendicular to it? No, no, no. So basically, tangent is a line which touches the curve at only one point. A line which touches the curve at only one point is known as the tangent to the curve. For a secant, it's like a line touching the curve at two or more points or more than one point. Correct? So, if I talk about the secant of this curve, it will look like this. Right? Let's say this point is x, comma fx. Let's say this point is x0, comma f of x0. Now, tell me what will be the slope of this line? f of x minus f of x naught upon like x minus x naught. Upon x minus x naught. If I say that this x is approaching towards x naught, if this x is approaching towards x naught, so it will travel along the curve when something which s align will go. If it travels in that way, x is approaching towards x naught. So basically, if you want to calculate the slope at any point, you do this. Limit x tending to x0, f of x minus f of x0 divided by x minus x0. But sir, you have a plus h or a key terms. So let's say if I go to this point x. Okay? So if I point ko agar main analyze this point, so there will be some set of points. Let's say is x ke just a point. Hoga. And if I talk about a now, so let's say a is this coordinate. Iske just a coordinate over that will be a plus h and again h is a very small quantity right it said just p check point over that will be f of sorry a minus h a minus h over a plus h over or a over correct so a line passing through all of these points hum log iska slope nikal hai. so agar x coordinate is a plus h can i say that if y is equal to f of x I can say y coordinate will be f of y will be equal to f of a plus h. Similarly, if x is equal to a, I can say that y is equal to f of a. Right? If x is equal to a minus h, I can say y is equal to f of a minus h. So, agar mujhe in dono points se, a plus h and a se mujhe slope nikal lain, what will be the value of that slope? I mean, how will we calculate that slope? Will it be y2 minus y1? So f of a plus h minus f of a. Aise calculate karenge. Right? Divided by x2 minus x1. So x2 is a plus h minus a. So a plus h minus a. And because we know that this h is a very small quantity, so I can write this that limit h tending towards 0. Correct. X, h is a very small quantity, so limit h tending to 0, f of a plus h minus f of a divided by a plus h minus a will give us the slope at this particular point. So, if you solve this formula, ko agar tum log solve karoge, so you will get Limit h, h tending to 0, f of a plus h minus f of a. a plus h minus a is h. So this is the formula. This is how we derive it. Samajaya, abhi slope se kaise relate ho raha Sir, ab... After like it's x is equal to a plus h, how did you get y? Like what did you exactly do in that step? Okay, see, y is equal to y is a function of x, right? There is some function of x. So my x ko keval a plus h rakunga to muja y ki value mil jayi at x equal to a plus h. 
Mm. Y is equal to f x is a function. Now, if x is a plus h, and if I want to calculate the value of y, so y will be f of a plus h. Right. So this is how I calculated that. Got it. So also, can you go back one slide, like for just a minute? यहाँ पर h कहाँ पर होगा for the graph that you made h is a very small point that is what I am saying ये एक बहुत बहुत ही let's say अगर a अगर ये है तो इसके बहुत पास a plus h यही होगा that's a very small quantity tending towards zero you can't mark it on a graph actually this is all based on assumption कि a के पास बहुत पास एक point होगा a plus h okay let's come to the definition part so write down the heading differentiability or So what have you written after the formula? Exist. That is unique oh. and finite. Okay, what is the differentiation of a constant value? Zero. Achha, why is zero? zero? Why zero? Because it's a constant, right? Because it's constant, it. there's no change. Exactly. So rate of change of a constant will be of course zero. Okay. So I change what can I say? Look here. Rishit still writing? So last line.
चलो एक लाइन और लिख लो तो फाइंड आउट डी वाई बाई डी एक्स और एफ डैश एक्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल सो बेसिकली यहाँ पे हम लोग एक पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट के लिए लिमिट निकाल रहे हैं से मेरे को एक कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन का डिफ्रेंशिएशन निकालना है सो हाउ विल आई डू इट फाइंड डी वाई बाई डी एक्स और एफ डैश एक्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल आई डू इट बाय कैलकुलेटिंग लिमिट एच टेंडिंग लिमिट या लिमिट एच टेंडिंग टू जीरो एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस एच माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय एच and this is actually denoted by f dash x ओके गाइस व्हाट इज द डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स कॉस एक्स एंड कॉस एक्स का माइनस साइन एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स ओके ठीक है सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द लिमिट और सॉरी डिफरेंट डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ साइन एक्स यूजिंग द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल so first principle is what limit x tending limit h tending to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is equal to actually f dash x right so f of x plus h will be how much it will be sin of x plus h because my fx is sin x so this means limit h tending to 0 sin of x plus h minus sin of x divided by h is equal to f dash x इसके बाद डू यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दी लिमिट्स इट्स नॉट अ क्वेश्चन बट यू एक्चुअली नो कि हाउ कैन यू कैलकुलेट दी लाइक यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दी लिमिट आफ्टर दिस स्टेप साइन विल बिकम कॉस राइट अरे यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस लिमिट फॉरगेट दी डिफरेंशिएशन एज ऑफ नाउ हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट दी लिमिट ऑफ साइन ऑफ x plus h minus sin of x divided by h So put the value as zero if it is by in the form zero by zero. We do it for Now the put, like put x equals it. to zero. See what you are getting. Sorry for this case, I think h will be zero, right? Ah, uh, h is zero. Put h as zero and see what you are getting. Zero by zero. so that's a indeterminate form that is what you have to solve i'll give you a hint use sin c minus sin d
बट उसके लिए यू शुड नो दी फॉर्मूला कैन एनी बडी टेल मी वॉट इज साइन सी माइनस साइन डी टू कॉस थीटा सी प्लस डी बाई टू एंड साइन थीटा सी माइनस डी बाई टू I sin theta c plus d by two. I mean theta is the angle, na? So the angle is again c minus d. Yeah. So when you apply sin c minus sin d, you get limit h tending to zero to cos c plus d by two. That means x plus h by two sin c minus d by two. That means h by two. Correct. एवरीवन बहुत बोरिंग टॉपिक लग रहा है क्या सबको अभी बहुत ही स्लो स्लो रिस्पॉन्ड कर रहे हो आज या सो हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट साइन अच्छा इसके बाद लिमिट कैसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे यू कैन गेट लाइक मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड द डिनोमिनेटर बाय टू सो दैट यू कैन गेट लाइक वन करेक्ट सो इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाय टू व्हाट आई कैन से इज साइन एच बाय टू Divided by h by two, the limit will be one because sine x by x is equal to one at x tending to zero. So f dash x will be equal to limit h tending to zero. This two and this two cancels out, and you have cos of x plus h by two because the rest of the part becomes one. Now, if I put h as zero in this particular function, I get f dash x as cos of x cos of x plus 0 like x plus 0 is x again so you get f dash x as cos x yahi hota hai differentiation sin x ka so isn't it cos i mean cos of x plus h like the whole thing by 2 no 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 c x plus h plus x by 2 c plus d by 2 so c is x plus h d is x Whole of this divided by two, so that means two x plus h by two. So if I remove, if I separate the uh, denominator, I get x plus h by two. Sir, आप बाद में एक बार L hospital rule भी बोल सकते हैं क्या क्या है? L hospital rule हम लोग differentiation के बाद पढ़ेंगे. because for that you should know differentiation do you guys want to try for cos x cos x ka differentiation is minus sin x right try cos x ka differentiation using first principle quickly and in that case of course you'll have to use cos c minus cos d
ओके संस्कृति व्हाट इज कॉस सी माइनस कॉस डी अन्ना व्हाट इज कॉस सी माइनस कॉस डी के बाय हार्ट याद होने चाहिए हर चैप्टर में यूज होते हैं रिवीजन करो प्लीज ओके एवरीवन कैमरा इस पे आ जाओ सब पहले मुझे पता नहीं चल रहा तुम लोग सॉल्व कर भी रहे हो क्या यस एवरीवन हेलो हेलो संस्कृति ऋतु स्मेरा सनत अर्णव ओके What is the first principle? First principle is f dash x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h, and its limit h tending to zero. Okay, so the function will look like limit h tending to zero cos of x plus h minus cos of x divided by h. इस स्टेप तक सब लोग पहुंच गए थे क्या ओके इसके बाद व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू जस्ट कैलकुलेट यू हैव टू जस्ट सॉल्व दिस यूजिंग कॉस सी माइनस कॉस बी सो इफ आई राइट दिस इफ आई अप्लाई दी फॉर्मूला कॉस सी माइनस कॉस बी व्हाट डू आई गेट माइनस टू साइन एक्स प्लस एच बाई टू एंड साइन एच बाई टू करेक्ट ठीक है एंड आफ्टर दिस हाउ टू सॉल्व द लेमन यू विल मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड द डिनोमिनेटर बाय 2 सो दैट यू कैन गेट sin h by 2 अपॉन h by 2 as 1 करेक्ट एंड देन द टू यू मल्टीप्लाई बाय कैंसिल आउट so that means the final function which we are left with is limit h tending to 0 minus sin of x plus h by 2 right so if h is tending to 0 i can put h as 0 and what do i get f dash x as minus sin x minus sin x minus sin x so tumne solve kar liya tha aur tum log time waste kar rahe the aisa kuch tha kya तो तो क्या डाउट था इस क्वेश्चन में फिर? आंसर 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 मालूम था था ना कुछ बोला नहीं मैं मतलब कि वो वो वैसे ही रह गया अभी ओके सो 
this is how you calculate the derivatives of all of the function using first principle okay let's write some formulas for differentiation acha e ki bar x ka differentiation kya hota hai sorry e ki bar e to the power x log x e to the power x hi hota hai na uska it is e to the power x only right correct it is e to the power x only what is the differentiation of log x 1 by x 1 by x 1 by x ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है सो लेट्स राइट सम फॉर्मूलेज फॉर डेफिनेशन सॉरी डिफरेंशिएशन अच्छा वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग इज इट इज रिटर्न एज डी वाई बाई डी एक्स और अगर कोई फंक्शन है एफ ऑफ एक्स सो यू कैन राइट द डेरिवेटिव एज एफ डैश एक्स okay or sometimes it is represented as y dash 2 so dy by dx f dash x y dash they all means that they all mean that you have to calculate the differentiation so the very first formula is differentiation of a constant is zero second thing is what is d by dx of x to the power n n x raised to n, n minus x raised to n minus one power rule Correct. basically okay next is d by d x of let's say c is a constant and you have c x so what you can do is you can write this as c times d by d x of x right you can take out the constant from this let's say agar two x ka differentiation karna hai so two ko you can take out and you can just differentiate x correct so if you have to differentiate two x square how will you do it so it will be two times x four x so the way to write it is two times d by dx of x square so this will be equal to four times of x okay that means you can separate out the uh, constant from the function so let's say this is the a part the p part is like d by dx of let's say u times c times u again c is a constant so this will be d by c times d by dx of u and u is a function of x moving on let's write some trigonometric functions ka differentiation so you all know d by uh, sin x ka differentiation with respect to x is cos x we have also calculated it calculated this with the help of first principle of derivation uh, differentiation so d by dx of sin x is cos x d by dx of cos x is minus sin x what is the differentiation of tan x it is sec square x differentiation of sec x is what sec x tan x differentiation of cortex is cos x square x minus cos x square x and differentiation of uh, cos x x is minus cos x x cortex अगेन ये फॉर्मुलेज याद होने चाहिए
Can I change this slide? So just one second. I have a doubt in the previous slide. So after everyone is done, could you like go to that slide? Everybody done? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Rishad? The part where you wrote like 2x, 2x square, is that just for an example or for what did you Yeah, that's that? just an uh, example for this property, third property. Is c x c to the power x or did you write like c into x? What was that? It's c into d by dx of the function, which is x. So constant comes out of the function and you can just differentiate the function with respect to x. It's okay, just that you can okay, take the it. constant. Yeah, 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 no, no. Okay, got it. I was thinking it was u into v, that one. How did it cut no, 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 to no, this? No, no. And I got it, got it now. Okay, the next thing is algebra. On derivatives. The algebra of derivatives. Whatever. So the very first formula is d by dx of fx plus gx. can be broken down and we can solve it as d by dx of fx plus d by dx of gx. Same goes with the negative sign. So I can write plus minus. So plus minus clear again, you can separate out this. The second operation is multiplication. So let's say you have a function u and you have a function v. So d by dx of u dot v is calculated as, what is the formula? u dv upon dx plus v du upon dx. Exactly, u times dv by dx plus v times du by dx. Correct. The, sec the third formula is for division d by dx of u by v. Again, what is the formula? v du by dx minus u dv by dx upon v square. Have you guys applied these formulas before? Yeah, you only know the formula. I think we did like a few sums, but it, it wasn't me. So like, I still don't remember how to apply. Okay. Let me know when you are done writing. All right, let's calculate the differentiation of tan x with the division rule. Okay, up division rule se kaise calculate karenge? So tan x can be written as sin x by cos x, right? So we have a function of x in the numerator as well as the denominator. So we can apply the division rule or the u by v rule. Correct. So what will be u? u will be sin x. And what will be v? v will be cos x. 
So it's u uh, sorry v times du by dx, right? Also, I I can write this formula as v times u dash minus u times v dash divided by v square, where u dash is differentiation of u with respect to x, and same goes for v dash. Okay. So v remains constant, and you have to differentiate u with respect to x. So v is as it is. That means v is cos x times u dash. What is u dash? Du by dx. Correct. Du by dx. So u is sin x. Now what is d of sin x by dx? Cos x. Exactly. Cos x. So this is cos x. ऐसे यहाँ पे वैल्यूज लिख लेते हैं u dash is actually cos x and what is v dash minus sin x minus sin x so v times u dash will be cos times cos x minus u times v dash so u remains constant u as it is a so it will be sin of x times U dash, uh, sorry, v dash, and v dash is minus sine of x. So this is minus sine of x divided by v square. V square is cos x. So this is cos x the whole square. Correct. So numerator becomes cos square x plus sine square x divided by cos x the whole square. Now everybody knows the formula that cos square x plus sine square x is equal to minus one. Correct? One, 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 one. Plus one. I forget sometimes. So this is equal to one, and one divided by cos x the whole square. अच्छा one by cos x is uh, cos x is one by cos x is cos x x right? Sec x. यही लिखा था कि हमने टेन एक्स के लिए कैलकुलेट दिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ कॉटेक्स विथ डिविजन रूल Are you getting the same thing? 
or still doing it? Sir, solving. Still doing it. I got the same thing. Great, nice. So this is how you apply the division rule. It's super easy. Bus formula ana chahiye. Yeah, even I got the same thing. So I got it as well. I got it. Great. Anybody awesome. who has not got the same answer? Sanskriti and Ada, are you there in the class? Hello? Let's try one more question. So again, calculative, uh, calculate the derivative of x divided by 1 plus tan x. Achha, wape se tan x ka division rule se calculate mat karna. Tan x ka derivative, see thus x square x leaks up there. Okay? Normal derivation like derivatives to be karsaktana, yeah, we hope we general formula use karka karna. Actually, uh, basically, the loke course may ki first principle say they are trying to calculate, like you have to calculate the derivatives using the first principle. Okay, the first principle is again that limit wala concept. So, we'll try to do that in the next class. Like, we'll do more questions on that in the next class. As of now, we are covering the whole differentiation, which helps you in 12th as well. And also in physics. Okay. Sir, x ka, like, u dash kya hoga? Batao, kya hoga? X dash yoga, okay? What is X dash? I don't know. Zero, hoga, no? Achha, X constant, hai kya? constant ka differentiation zero, hota hai, no? Wait, what I will... don't know constant, hai, never mind. It will be one, right? You can take it as one. One. Right. It will be one. So, agar nahi pata chal rahe ki X ka differentiation kya hoga, wapas se first rule laga do. First rule says f of x plus h. So function is x. f of x is x. x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Ye, ye gaya. h divided by h is equal to 1. Hence prove that differentiation of x with respect to x is 1. So, if x ka value 1, we can do normal derivation. Se bhi kar sakte na, ki wo extra power 0 ho jayega, fir, that is why it is equal to 1. 
इतनी मेहनत करने के बजाय डेरिवेशन ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एस वन ये याद कर लो ओके सो यू इज एक्स बी इज वन प्लस टेन एक्स वॉट इज यू डैश वॉट इज वॉट इज बी डैश वन प्लस सेक्स एक्स माइनस सेक्स एक्स सेक्स एक्स सेक्स एक्स सो आई गॉट आंसर्स लाइक माइनस वन प्लस सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स एंड माइनस सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स कौन सा वाला सही है सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स पॉजिटिव वन थर्ड वन टू ओज फॉर थर्ड वन यस रितु या द पॉजिटिव सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स बट यू सेड वन प्लस सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स राइट आई नो नो आई डेंट से दैट यू सेड समथिंग एडेड विद सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स और माइनस सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स आई गेस No, it's positive. I've written it down. Oh, d by dx of one plus tan x. See, how to calculate? Karte hain. I'll use algebra of derivatives. So this will be d by dx of one plus d by dx of tan x. So, because one is constant, hai, everyone agree with me that one is constant. Hai? Sure. Variable is not there. So d by dx of one is zero, and d by dx of tan x is sec square x. So zero plus sec square x is zero, right? So sec square x. Mere to was agree. Yes, sir. Zero it over. Okay, nice. Yes, uh, Sanat and Rishit, all clear. I got it. Yes, sir. Okay. So, इसके बाद you have to just apply the formula, which is v times u dash minus u times v dash divided by v square. So, I think you will get the final answer as one plus tan x minus x times sec square x. Divided by the you know one plus tan x the whole square. We don't have to simplify it further. No. Oh. Adit ne to bahut hi effort kiya hai. Pura answer likha hai chat pe. Nice. ओके लेट्स ट्राई दी प्रोडक्ट रूल नाउ सो प्रोडक्ट रूल के लिए लेट्स टेक एक एल्जेब्रिक फंक्शन ले लें या फिर ओके चल व्हाट इज डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू टाइम्स एक्स माइनस टू Nice, Ritu. Did you use the chain rule?
Yes. I used the product right. one for my algebra. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Change the name. All right. Okay, smell correct, Ritu correct. So U is X plus two and V is X minus two. And both U dash and V dash are equal to one. So after this, you have to apply the formula. It's u times u times v dash plus v times u dash. That's all. Now, is it necessary to apply the product rule over here? Can I simplify x plus two times x minus two as x square minus four? Right, and x square minus 4, ka I can directly do the, uh, do the differentiation, which is 2x. So, if the function, like if you multiply the function and it's easy to differentiate, differentiate that way, so use that method then. Okay, let's move on. What is the derivative of one by X with respect to X? Log X. Log X. Log X. Sure. Or no, it will have a separate value. U by V, we have to take again then. Okay. Or you could said, also take like one by X is X to the power minus one and then differentiate right. that. Right, this is the way how you do it. That's a smaller way actually. By the way, one by x ka differentiation is not log x. Log x ka differentiation is one by x. Okay. So write the formulas over here that differentiation of log x is one by x and differentiation of e to the power x is e to the power x. So can you explain like the 10th formula, like how it's one by x? Use the first principle, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by x, divided by h. If you want the derivation of each of these formulas, what you have to do is just put the function in this first principle and solve the limit and at the end you'll get the differentiation of the function. Try doing it on your own and if you get any, if you get stuck over somewhere, or you can let me know, I'll help you with that case. Okay. So the fifth 
type of differentiation is d by dx or 1 by x. Yeah, what is that? Minus 1 by x square. Minus 1 by x square. Okay. Any other answers? Adit, you wanted to apply the division rule, no? Yes, sir. But you said that, that would be a longer way. That's fine. Try doing it. Let's see ki utar se kya answer hai. Sir, I'm back. What are we doing? We are doing this question. D by dx of 1 by x. And also we had written these two questions. Uh, these two formulas. D by dx of log x is 1 by x. And differentiation of e to the power x with respect to x is e to the power x. I'm getting same answer by the division method also. That means minus 1 by x squared, right? Yes, sir. So, you know, I'm getting it now. So, Ritu's answer is correct then. So, right, but the differentiation of... Yes, other. So, what method did she use? Okay. So, can you write 1 by x as x to the power minus 1? Yeah. Yes. So if I use the formula key differentiation of x to the power n is n x to the power n minus 1. So applying that formula, what I'll get is n is minus 1. So minus 1 comes before x to the power n minus 1. So minus 1 times x to the power minus 1 minus 1. Correct. So this becomes minus 1 times x to the power minus 2 because minus 1 and minus 1 add up to minus 2. So one, minus 1 x to the power minus 2 can be written as minus 1 by x square. Yes. On a similar basis, tell me what is the differentiation of 1 by x square? Minus 2 by x to the power 3. Okay. So I also got that. But are we supposed to find it out using the general form, uh, whatever the first principle or normal derivation is fine? It depends on the question. The question says that you have to find the differentiation using the first principle. So, to of course, first principle use karna hai. Agar kuch nahi given a question mein, of course, you will not use first principle because that's a long method. Right? Tab will use the normal differentiation. Okay. The next question is... d by dx of 6x plus 7 to the power 4. Okay, guys, how are you solving this question? 
you're calculating 6x plus 7 to the power 4 and then uske individually ek ek terms ko differentiate karoge that's the plan from but like first expand it we'll first expand it okay any other approach which anybody has i try to use the power rule first and then i'm going to expand it okay see power has the highest priority power has the highest priority let's say this is some other function let's say it's x capital x okay ye bahut acche se samajh lena this is actually the chain rule so 6x plus 7 ko i am taking it as to be to be some other function say capital x so it's capital x to the power 4 and differentiation of this function with respect to x so what will be the differentiation of capital x uh, to the power 4 will it be 4 times q yeah four times capital x cube right but we had to do the differentiation with respect to x and we have changed this to some other function capital x so ab mujhe capital x ka bhi differentiation karna padega so four capital x cube times differentiation of capital x chalo isko ek aur baar samjhata hu main so we have d by dx of 6x plus 7 to the power 4 let's say this is some other function capital x so that means we have to calculate d by dx of capital x to the power 4 right capital x to the power 4 ko if i differentiate i get 4 capital x cube अब कैपिटल एक्स इज सम अदर फंक्शन मुझे डिफरेंशिएट करना था विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो आई विल हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट कैपिटल एक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स टू आर यू गेटिंग व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सबसे पहले आई डिड यू मल्टीप्लाई इट ओके सी कैपिटल एक्स वाज नॉट इन द इक्वेशन वी हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट दिस फंक्शन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स राइट When we are doing d, जब हम इसका डिफ्रेंसिएशन करें d by dx capital x to the power four and we are writing this as four capital x to the power three. So this is actually d capital x by capital x. I mean, when we do mm, So then, when you multiply it, like the dx will get cancelled, and you will get like d capital x by dx. Exactly. So basically, if you are taking this function, what you are doing is d capital x by dx. निकाल रहे हो तुम लोग, right? And then, since we have to calculate d capital x to the power four divided by dx, so I have to multiply d capital x by dx. So this and this cancels out, and we get d capital x to the power four divided by dx. ठीक है, so, सबसे पहले पावर को प्रायोरिटी देंगे एंड देन वी हैव टू डिफ्रेंशियट दिस फंक्शन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो हाउ विल वी डू इट सो लाइक डी इज दैट कैपिटल एक्स या कैपिटल एक्स पावर फोर एंड दैट इज बाय अगेन डी कैपिटल एक्स और स्मॉल एक्स राइट we are differentiating with respect to the same variable which we have taken theek hai ritu incorrect see so iska differentiation kaise hoga pehle power ka so this will be 4 times the function which is 6x plus 7 to the power 3 right capital x is 6x plus 7 times differentiation of capital x with respect to x So six x plus seven का differentiation with respect to x is six. So can yes you repeat? No? Differentiation of six x plus seven with respect to x is six. Yes. So that means the final answer is twenty four times six x plus seven to the power three. ठीक है हम लोगों ने क्या किया वापस से बोलता हूँ d by dx of capital x calculate kiya capital x to the power 4 and then we have multiplied it with d capital x by dx and this is actually d capital x so 
we did this as 4 capital X cube times D capital X by DX. Okay, Samajaya Sapu. All right, great. The next question is square root of 2x plus 3 ka differentiation. I don't know which number is going on. 8. So, 8th question is d by dx of square root of 2x plus 3. So can you go back one second? Yeah. So, you won't differentiate it like further? Just like no. till x cube? No. This is because when you multiply it with d capital X by dx, you get this term only, no? And that is what we had to calculate. Yes, Rishit, you have to do that only. Achha, we can write 2x plus 3 to the power half square root. Ko likh sakte hai. Right? And then we'll again use the same formula. I mean the same approach, not the formula. So this can be written as 2x plus 3 to the power half. Sabse pehle power pe jayenge. So power is 1 by 2. Capital X is 2X plus 3. So 1 by 2, capital X to the power minus 1 by 2. Correct. So 1 by 2 times capital X to the power minus 1 by 2. And differentiation of capital X with respect to X. So D capital X by DX. So this is 1 by 2 times capital X was what? square root of, sorry, 2x plus 3. So it will be 2x plus 3 to the power minus 1 by 2 into differentiation of 2x plus 3 with respect to x is 2. So when you solve this, you get 2x plus 3 to the power minus half, which can be written as 1 divided by square root of 2x plus 3. So can you explain like the second last step again? 
second last okay so 1 by 2 times yahan tak samajh aaya this line sir how did you get negative 1 by 2 could you just say that okay what is differentiation of capital x to the power 1 by 2 with respect to capital x okay got it got it got it got it yeah now after this i differentiated 2x plus 3 with respect to x what is differentiation of 2x plus 3 with respect to x 2 so so this is why we have got 2 but isn't it to the power 1 by 2 no capital x is 2x plus 3 only we are taking this power as 1 by 2 na capital x ka power 1 by 2 कैपिटल एक्स से अगर कंफ्यूज हो रहा है तो इसको एक और फंक्शन मान लो लेट्स से वाई वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स प्लस थ्री ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर टू दी पार वन बाय फोर I want correct answers now. स्मेरा करेक्ट ऋतु इन करेक्ट वॉट इज ए स्मेरा सॉरी वॉट इज ए ऋतु सॉरी दैट सपोज टू बी कैपिटल नो इफ इवन इफ इट्स कैपिटल एक्स वॉट इज दैट कैपिटल एक्स यू आर गिविंग दैट कैपिटल एक्स एम वैल्यू नो सो योर फाइनल आंसर हैज टू बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स So I forgot to put like the exponent sign didn't come on. I typed it though. I'm sorry. I'll send it again. Okay. What is what is the sign of that exponent? Positive or negative? It's under like the so it's positive because it's in the denominator. Okay, it's in the denominator. Your answer is correct. All right, Rishit, correct. Okay. Ate. So is it is there a way to reduce that or is that the no? Like that's the final your answer. final answer. That's your final answer. Yes, uh, 
अर्णव संस्कृति सनत हेलो गाइस सॉल्व नहीं हो रहा है क्या संस्कृति सना तरनव गाइस एट लीस्ट रिस्पॉन्ड Okay, everybody try differentiating sine square x with respect to x. So why I don't understand. Why in the sense for this question? Yes. You have answered this question, Adit. I guess. No, no sir, I have. This is my master. Okay. See. This will be my capital X. In, instead of capital X, I'm taking it Y now. Okay. So first, I'll differentiate with respect to the power. So power will be. So if I differentiate, I get one by four, three x plus four, to the power one by four minus one. I'm only differentiate. I'm only looking on the power as of now. Correct. Right. Af after this, I have. Also, sorry, you won't solve that one upon four minus one. No, 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 ahead. no, no, no. You don't have to solve okay. that. Acha, one okay. by four minus one will solve, but will not solve. Will not expand three x plus four to the power three by four. Okay, then there, there I got. Yeah, yeah. After this, you have to differentiate three x plus four with respect to x. What is that differentiation? D by d x three x plus four. So yeah. I'm making a small mistake, Ritu. Sir, I got disconnected. What do we have to solve? You have to solve differentiation of sine square x with respect to x. Yes, other differentiation of three x plus four with respect to x is what? Oh, so three three x ka differentiation is what? Three is a constant. X ka differentiation yes. is one. So this is three, right? And four is a constant, so four ka differentiation is zero. So three. Three is the final differentiation of three x plus four. Right. So the final answer is three by four, three x plus four to the power three by four. Anybody who is not getting, please let me know. We'll practice similar questions then. Otherwise, मुझे पता ही नहीं चलेगा अगर तुमको समझ नहीं आ रहा तो. Arnav and Sanat, I've not heard from you guys. Ah, uh, sir, I understood. The fraction like the three x plus four वाला part it came down because of the minus sign, right? Yes, of course. Okay. So the next question is. d by dx of sine square x. I'll give you a hint. Ye hint. The hint is that you have to solve this using this particular method only. The method which we used before.
Okay. Uh, no, the two incorrect, smear also incorrect. Sir, I didn't understand how we'll use chain rule for this. So can I write this function as sine x the whole square? Sine square x means the same thing? Yeah. And then you can write yeah. that as sine x into sine x. No, I'll not you I'll not do that. I'll take this as y. So it's it means that this is capital Y square. So first oh, okay, I'll... and then like we'll do the same thing from above. Exactly. Okay, got it. Yes, Mera correct. Ritu, you got your mistake or you are still getting the same answer? Sanskriti correct. I got it. Nice. Finally, I'm getting correct answers now. Adit correct. Great. Sanat, correct. Nice. Rashid, Arnav, and Ritu. So this, I didn't get, how did you write sine 2x as sine square x as sine x to the power whole square? So how do we write it then? See, sine square x is same as sine x the whole square. Sine cube x is same as sine x the whole cube. So and so forth for any power which you have. Array, it's not sine 2x, this shit. Sine 2x and sine square x are different. No, no, then I corrected myself. Sine square x, I told. Yeah, so sine square x is sine x into sine x. Do you agree with this? Yes, Rishit. Then it will just be 2 sin x. What is x into x? x square. So what will be sin x into sin x? No, I meant after differentiation. Yeah, it will be 2 sin x, but abhi to humne keval power ko deal kar hai, right? Then we have to differentiate this y with respect to x. So sin x ka differentiation with respect to x. First of all, we see the power. Power ka differentiation karne ke baad, we go to the inner function. Inner function is sin x. We differentiate sin x with respect to x. So it's 2 sin x times d by dx of sin x is cos x. So it's 2 sin x cos x, which can also be written as sin 2x. Okay. All right. So I square would it be yeah. fine if we like don't uh, like write the final answer as sin 2x? Like if we just leave it as uh, 2 sin x into cos x? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Depends on the question. Sometimes in MCQ, you might get an option for sin 2x. So, tab to sin 2x ke tick karna padega. Okay, the next question is square root of cos x for differentiation. Or rather do square root of tan x. Enough of sin x and cos x.
आई थिंक इवन इफ यू डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट राइटिंग ऑन दी चैट बॉक्स ना तब भी तुम डिफरेंशिएशन सॉल्व कर सकते हो यू डोंट नीड अ पेन एंड अ पेपर टू सॉल्व डिफरेंशिएशन So I did it directly. You can just check if it's right or wrong. Yes, it's correct. Adit. Yeah, same. Oh, uh, Anand, correct. Smera, correct. Ritu, Ritu, correct. Okay. Both easy and a differentiation. Everyone, it's not easy. संस्कृति करे Arnav Sanat, Acha Sanat has already answered. Arnav, sir, एक बार कर देंगे मुझे बस देखना है कि मैं जो नहीं तुम मुझे बताओ तुम कैसे करोगे? You tell me how will you solve this? I will not solve this. Tan x to the power half. Yes, this is tan x to the power half. Then uh, you take half tan x to the power minus half into tan x. Into tan x, no, tan x का difference. No, it d हाँ differentiation use. Yeah, so what is that? It's x square x. So this is your final answer. Okay, then I was correct only. Okay. Should we start with a new topic? No, it's already five fifty-three. Okay, let's do this. So, next question is uh, the twelfth question. If y is equal to x tan x, then find out. X times sine square x e by by dx. So indirectly, question is asking you to calculate d y by dx so that you get the value of this whole term. Or rather, change the question to this. Instead of find out, you can do prove this. 
Uh, till then you can calculate the differentiation. That is still the question. Still a part of the question. So like it is dy by dx of x sine square x. X times sine square x times dy by dx. It's multiplied. Yeah, quickly message me this uh, y dash. What is the differentiation of x tan x? Adit correct, Ritu correct, Smera correct, correct. So we just put the values now after that, that same value. Right, right. Your LHS and RHS should, uh, should match with each other. That's all. So for the second expression, like I'm not getting Y sine square X, I'm getting another one. So first of all, you'll get y dash as tan x plus x sec square x. Okay, I'll start from the left-hand side part. So for the left-hand side part, what I have to do is I have to multiply this with x sine square x times tan x plus x sec square x. 
right? So this will be x tan x times sine sin square x. I'm opening, I'm expanding the brackets plus x square sine square x sec square x. Yes. So x is part of that, right? Which x? Of the differentiation, x. like x sec square x. Right. So x tan x can be written as y. So this is y sine square x plus x sine square x times x square x. So x square x is 1 by cos square x. So if I multiply, can I write this as x square ten, tan square x? But so won't it be like x tan square x? Are we have this x also, no? So this x gets multiplied with this x. So x and x, x square. So how did you get tan? Okay, understood. How did I get tan? Okay. See, sine square x times x square x. So x square x can be written as... And then they divide, okay. So that means since x tan x is y, so x square tan square x will be y square. So this is y sine square x plus y square. Yes, Sanskriti. Sanskriti, okay. Okay, guys, do you know when do you have your chemistry or physics class this week? We have chemistry tomorrow and physics. Chem day tomorrow, after. physics day after. Chem tomorrow and physics day after. And math Saturday. You have one more math class on Saturday. I mean, it was on the schedule, yeah. So as of now, no, is so on the schedule there... before changing. Now we have to check it again. Yeah, can you check check it and let me know like right now? We have come on Saturday instead now. Okay. And no maths class this week, right? No, no. One doubt. Could you once again just explain x tan x ka derivation? No. Okay, I'll ask anyone to explain it. Arnav, can you explain x tan x ka differentiation? Yes, I know. Okay, Adit. Yes, yeah, so, um, so we have x y equals to x is tan x. So then you can take dy by dx as d by dx of x tan x then you equals to break down as tan x will tan, like d by dx tan x plus x again then tan x upon d by dx and from then there you get on the equation as tan x plus that tan x will become sex square x like the d by dx of tan x will become x square x. Yes, Rishit, did you understand? 
Can't we also do it using u into v? Yeah, that is what we had to. We have to do product rule. Okay. So u becomes x and v becomes tan x. U times You're v dash, it. so v dash is x square x. So x times x square x plus tan x into x ka differentiation, which is one. Okay, anybody any doubt? 